If you want to ask the same set of multiple choice questions about a list of items, use the matrix of drop-down menus question. You can use this question to ask people to evaluate several items using multiple drop-downs. Instead of listing a series of statements followed by lots of separate questions, the matrix layout helps you save valuable space in your survey. When you've added your question to a survey, add your question text at the top. Then add your rows, which are the items that you want people to evaluate. They'll show up on the left side of your question. Below that, enter a label for each column, which appear above the set of drop-downs. Finally, click Enter Answer Choices to add question choices to the drop-down menus under each column. Try to avoid adding too many rows or columns. The more you add, the busier your question gets, which might cause people to skip over your question. Keeping it around 5 rows and columns or under should let you get the best out of your question. The Options tab lets you customise your question more. For example, if some of your rows are a bit wordy, they might look cramped in the question. If you click Adjust Question Layout, you can change the label width to give them more room on the page. This will make your rows easier to read and keep your drop-downs looking great. If you click Require an answer to this question, you can choose how many of the rows you want your respondents to answer. Choose All if you want to make sure they answer all the rows. When you view your results, there'll be a bar chart for each column that you have in your question, so you can analyse them separately. If you can't see the full name of a row, hover over it to read it all. Or if you'd rather see the full label displayed by default, click Customise and then choose a different chart. Click Labels if you'd rather make them a bit shorter. Click Display Options to edit your chart even more, such as adding exact numbers into your chart. Below your chart, you'll find a separate data chart for each column in your question. These act as a great companion to the bar charts by giving you the percentage and number of people that answered each drop-down. And if you want to export into your own analytical tool, click Export and choose how you'd like to download your data.